See, that's why she's great. I mean, she probably has one of the best dodging abilities in the game. And if you put that even on, like, I don't know, anybody, it would make them great. Even if they had a terrible other ability, you know? I mean, pretty much everyone's pretty balanced out, I'd say. But she, uh, she's pretty beast. I mean, being able to dodge like that and, uh, pouring all them herbs, that's just, that's just good times, man. And you'll notice right there, I didn't actually mean to pick up that recovery medicine base, but I'm glad I did because I remembered that if I dropped it on the ground, I could place back my green chemical bottles in the same spot instead of having to relocate them somewhere else and just easily picking them up. So I fill them up, fill up my syringe, drop off the medicine base, and now you see I can mix these together and just put them in the same spot. So that's pretty great. Um, didn't really mean to do that at first, and then I realized that it would be very helpful. So, did that. One little problem about this area, and I know it comes up pretty soon, the next time I come down here, I think, but the, uh, the axe man will sometimes corner you down there, and... If you hear him coming down the stairs, you should probably duck into the intensive care unit because he'll get you stuck and he'll 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 just um, butt fuck your corpse. I, I don't know what else to say about it, but he will. He'll push you into a corner and just swing away. And even if you duck, you're eventually gonna stand up and he's gonna kick you or swing at you. And you don't want that. So I would just go into a room, come back out, it'll reset, and um, you'll be fine. You just come back out. And he should be gone. Alright, up, up onto the roof now. This, uh, I made a couple mistakes here coming up. Not on this playthrough, but before where I'd come up this little area and start mixing some herbs randomly. And um, that herb right there, that little blue thing, just threw me off. Um, zombie came up the stairs, sure enough, grabbed me. And uh, I was trying to mix an herb so I didn't get poisoned, which I don't ever get poisoned on this map unless I accidentally run into a big flower, which, sure enough, on this playthrough I did, just sheer I'm not paying attention. But, you know, other than that, goofy mistakes like this can mess you up, and I don't know why I wasn't paying attention. See, like in this instance right here. There was no real reason for me to go back and get this herb to mix it to that. I mean, sure, it's nice, but there wasn't a real reason. I mean, don't feel compelled to get it. I'm running over here, gonna grab me empty chemical bottles. Very useful for the boss. I need. When you get up here, you basically just want to run straight back to where the Axe Man is. Don't try to get him in the open area because that's where he shines. And you want to get him back to where he is just cornered. You can't do nothing about it. So, do your best to make a nice little run. I'll show you exactly where to go in a minute. Alright. So, here you go. Run straight back. This is the part right here. Hold on. R1, R1, and move. Try to get it positioned to where you're on the balcony. And a little bit back. And he is now trapped. And going to get totally fucked up by my axe. And I would just like to point out that if indeed this were real life, and a, I don't care if it was a, a baby that had an axe and was swinging at you, um, you pretty much would be destroyed. Um, this guy's taking, a taking like 15 chops to the neck. Ooh. And a couple times I swing downwards, so I'd imagine the butt of the axe would be in his head. Uh, he, he's a beast. What can I say about it? And in game facts, let's see, what does he have? I think in very hard he's got somewhere between 55 and 6,500 vitality points. And the axe does about 200 damage a swing. So each time I'm hitting him with this thing, I'm causing 200 damage. But that's a medicinal amount to 6,500, which mostly is what it is. I don't know how they get a range of vitality points when they should just have a, a set amount. But whatever. So 
tell you. You see me dropping away, you know. It's easy. Just don't swing too early sometimes, and don't go back too far. Like I said, if your axe hits the wall, you're gonna recoil for like two seconds, and he's just gonna walk straight up to you and kick you, and you're gonna be put into very hard, very harsh. You're gonna be put into danger mode, and that's not good. So let's uh, get the first aid spray. All right. Kill these things, they're gonna make your life a bitch when you come down there and try to get out. Now this is a stupid mistake, watch. I'm like, alright, it's done. I'm like, god damn it. You're not gonna do that. So Whatever, you know, it's just poison, it's not gonna hurt me that bad. I don't think it hurts you actually at all initially. The effect of the poison will over time do some damage, but eh, with Cindy you're alright. That's how I would say. With Cindy you're alright, she'll take care of you. As they say, she is the, what is it, the team nurse? I mean, I guess I can find that true, but, I mean, Yoko and her seem to, seem to pretty much run this game with health items, as they can pretty much have four guns and ammunition spots and four health spots. Uh, for one person, that's, that's pretty dominant. That's pretty dominant. And you'll notice that I accidentally clicked on that plant, and it gave me that little screen telling me what that bubble thing is, and, um, that actually was not meant to happen, but I don't know if the bees can't hit you, or they just missed, because I was standing still, I know for a fact, for about a second, and they could have easily attacked me, but, you know, got lucky and they missed, so, I'll admit it, this game has a lot to do with luck, I have found that out, a great example of that would be on end of the road when you're trying to get to the plane, me personally, I never save Linda. I think she's just a a whiny little muff who needs to just stay in the Hellfire Inn. I call it Hellfire Inn because it's from the scenario Hellfire uh, in the first game. But anyway, she just gets in the way. So I always try to make her run for the helicopter and get up out of there. Or if I feel like fighting Nyx, I'll go kill his ass. But usually the tyrant at that point on the streets and all those goddamn claymores... They will pretty much mess you up, and a lot of the luck comes into play when you're trying to get to the helicopter and you're running away from him. Unless he he actually leaves you on purpose or he hits a claymore himself, he's going to mess you up. Like, if you don't plan on killing him, which he's pretty hard to kill, I think it takes your five acid rounds and one rocket launcher to kill him. And at that point, he's probably swung at you a good amount of times, so... Uh, yeah, he, he's, a, he's a real bitch, but uh, you can beat him, get a little luck, you can duck under one of his moves maybe and run past him. That doesn't happen for me often, I get quite fluctuated at that. But, um, I've actually, I was thinking about making a run through on End of the Road with Mr. Green. Um, just for the fact that I, he's one of my favorite of the weird, weird colored avatars, the stick figured people. Because he has between 36 and 4,000 vitality points. Uh, that's pretty damn beast, and that's almost like a herb case in my opinion. Because if he's green and health bar, uh, he's he's probably up around the 4,000 vitality points range, and that's pretty beast because um, you don't need to carry herbs with you. You can survive two or three hits sometimes with him, you know, from the hunters or whatever. And of course, it's his real character is Jim, so he can play dead, and that's just you know really great too. You can really mess up some people hide under their feet and just pop up and run away like a little coon but um anyway you know i was thinking about doing a run through of that you know maybe might upload that or whatever soon so yeah man that might be pretty fun but um i, I didn't i didn't really first want to make a playthrough on very hard nightmare with a character that you wouldn't get from the beginning because i don't know i, I just kind of feel like those characters are kind of cheap because they have well, like, three or four of them have max vitality points, which is almost four grand, or they are 4,000. And they run super goddamn fast. I mean, these little guys are just flying. I mean, that's awesome, and it makes it easy for, you know, running through a scenario quick, but I don't know if it's video material. Um, so, yeah, that's, you know, didn't want to do that first. I might do it, though. I, I, it looks pretty fun to upload that, do a little commentary on it. But, um, let's see, what do we got now? I totally lost track. We were on the video. We are going into the bottom to kill the huge...